Hi guys, Dan Cooper here from Pro Tools Expert, and I've got myself a copy of Trax Pro 3 SP by Audionomics. Now this is a standalone application that separates vocals and speech from mixed audio files. Now the first thing to note is that an active internet connection is required as the processing is claimed to be quicker by using the Audionomics servers. So as this is quite a unique application, I'm gonna walk you through very briefly the Trax Pro SP workflow so that you get an understanding of how this works and I'll let you know what I think about it later on in the video. So I've got an eight bar track, I'm just gonna import that very quickly. File import audio, and when you import audio it gives you a few options. I'm gonna go for melodic vocals only, that's what I wanna separate from the mixed audio file. Now it takes a little bit of time for the software to analyze the audio. I'll be speeding these processes up in the edit. And straight out of the box, the software has detected at the top there, you can see the music and underneath that, the separated vocal. And it gives us a graphical representation as well of the pitch in the middle here. First, let me play through the example track that we're going to be working with. Okay, a nice straightforward vocal there, sitting quite proud in the mix. Let's hear what Trax Pro has done to separate that all on its own. And we can solo and mute the two tracks at the top here. So let's solo the vocal. Within my mind, the earth sign that's encouraging me. Way beyond the light, the earth sign. Let's stop living in fear. Okay, it's not done a bad job on its own. Let's hear the music with the vocals separated. Okay, again, not done a bad job on its own. And we've got quite a few controls that we can use to help get more of that vocal A, out of the track and B, in isolation on its own. But a little feature I wanna point out here is that let's say you've got a mix where the lead vocal is not loud enough in the mix or it's too loud and you just wanna roll it back a little bit. Well, we can use these faders at the top here to help adjust that. So I'm gonna use this to just to sit the vocal back in the mix a little bit. Let's hear how that sounds. Let's stop living in fear. So a very useful feature that I know there's plenty of old mixes that I worked on years ago that I no longer have the sessions for that that is going to help me re kind of mix the lead vocal. So very cool that. So the type of user that is going to find this really useful is going to be, let's say like a remixer that wants to use a lead vocal from a song, but doesn't have the access to the vocal stems. Well, this is going to be a good tool for that application. First thing to note, though, I mean, you've got to kind of remember when you use software like this is that you're not going to get that 100% isolated, full, rich, toneful sounds from the results. You know, I've always thought of this sort of process as trying to unbake a cake. Well, this will do that, but it won't, as I said, give you that impression that you've just hit a solo button in a mix. Now, you can see the melody line in the middle here. It's kind of already been automatically worked out. Now, we've got this guide tone. If we solo that, and you'll hear it's this that finds the melody within the audio. Let's zoom in on a little bit and see if we can isolate a bit more of this vocal. Let's look towards the end of the song here. I heard a few problems. So zoom in. The earth sign. Let's stop living in fear. You can hear there's kind of like a little bit of a gap in fear. Now I'm going to use a couple of tools at the bottom here. First being this pitch magnetic tool and we can kind of draw in over the top. It does it sort of automatically, it works it all out. And then we hit this separate, again, just to run the process again. And let's have a listen. Being in fear. Much better. Let's stop living in fear. A little bit of music there at the end, but we'll worry about that in a bit. But so far, that's done a pretty good job. Let's move on to the next part of the interface. And that's 
process at the top here. So we've got three pages, separate, process, and spectral. We'll get to spectral in a minute. Now this section helps to further process what we've just done in the separate process. So at the bottom here, let's hit this processing button. And I'm just gonna keep it on refined. So again, straight out of the box. We've got a few extra choices here. So I'm gonna go for high quality because that's what we always strive for with this sort of thing. And the vocal hasn't really got any reverb on it. I'm just gonna keep it as is. You know, I really just want the vocal to be as separated as possible. So let's hit process. Keep it on HQ for high quality. And we've got this in solo already. Let's have a little listen, hear what it's done. Deep within my mind, I see a sign that's encouraging me. Way beyond the light, see a sign. Let's stop living in fear. And you can hear there's kind of like a little tick in there. That's a uh, part of the transient of the kick drum by the sounds of it. So at the bottom, let's see if we can remove that from it. Let's hit this little drum symbol. And this is drum reduction. So I'm just going to keep again this on high quality process. A default name pops up. That's attenuated drums. Let's click OK. And this will give us another track below those two red ones. Let's have a little listen to that. Deep within my mind, I see a sign that's encouraging me. Way beyond the light, see a sign. Let's stop living in fear. Right, it has reduced those ticks. Let's have a listen to the automatics. This being the first go of separating the vocal. Within my mind, the earth sign that's encouraging me. Way beyond the light, the earth sign. Let's stop living in fear. It does seem the more processes you do to it, the more the vocal kind of degrades a little bit. I'm sure. If I spent more time in the separate section, I could probably get more out of that vocal. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just trying to fly through the workflow of Trax Pro. Now, across to the next section, which is spectral. The top, we've got vocal. Again, this being what we've just worked on and the music spectral display as well. Now, the spectral display is becoming more and more common in a lot of these types of plugins. And this is where we can dig in if we need to, to help get rid of extra bits from the audio, such as, let's say, the beginning word that is deep, we can get rid of that. But I'm not going to go into that workflow in this video as haven't got the time really. But back over to the vocal. Let's have a look at this one. Over at the end here, to give you a very quick example, we can get rid of that last bit of audio. We can just highlight that, jump over to gain, put it all the way down, click process. It's all back gone. Lots of other things you can do in this, but I strongly recommend you check out the manual as it is very in-depth and this is gonna help you understand how to use all of this to its fullest potential. So that in a nutshell is Trax Pro SP by Audio Mix. Now, what are my final thoughts on this? Now, I've been using this for a short while and I must say it is very clever, but there are a few things that really bug me about it. First being this server thing having to be present in the process. Now, in this video, I've sped up the processing times just so you don't click off the video, but they are quite lengthy. Um, they're about 20 to 30 seconds for me to reprocess things after I've made a change, let's say in the separate window and process windows. And that's a little bit of a pain because if I make a mistake, I've got to go back and do it again. And it's, it's making me work a little bit slower than I would like to. For me, the standout feature of this software is having the ability to adjust the level of a mixed vocal in an audio file. The results of the separation are pretty good, but the learning curve of this is very high and it's not the sort of thing you're just going to be able to load up and get great results from straight away. You've got to put the hours in to get under the hood of this software to really understand how to use all these controls. Credit where credit's due though, I don't find this overly intimidating to use. The GUI is well designed and everything that I kind of want to do, I can do very quickly. I'm just struggling at the minute to be able to get more out of the vocal, but I think that's more just of a realization that I've got to use this a lot more to be able to get more out of it. Let us know your thoughts on Tracks Pro SP by Audio Mix in the comments below. I've been Dan from Pro Tools Expert, and I'll catch you next time.